Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 13 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Hair, BTW, before we start it. <clears throat> I am so sorry that this is now officially two days late. Something has been going on with my Wi-Fi between Saturday and officially also today, Sunday. Um, so my mom and I kept doing everything that we can to fix it. Um, while it was trying to fix itself, I took a nap. I literally just woke up like 40-something minutes ago um, going on 9 o'clock and stuff. And now everything works. looks like it's working fine, thank God. But yes, let's go ahead and start with episode 13 in 3, 2, 1, go. BTW, I also will have something to show you at the end of the episode when we get there. Yeah! Because like, oh! Ah. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. Oh my god. No. Yeah, no, have y'all not seen Mermaid Melody? Mana, mana, mana too. What the fuck? <laughs> my poor Jojo. My jo my Jordan. <laughs> Child, like girl, Laura, aka Silica from Sora Online, is not gonna immediately be like, yeah, let me go ahead and sing for y'all. No, she's not about that life. She's like, no. No, <laughs> not today. <laughs> but you know what I would really want? Yes, I want to hear them sing. Like, your your girl wants to hear Precious Baby Songo slash Kirby. And then, mm, Asuka, a.k.a. Mike, a.k.a. Nobara, a.k.a. Raftelio, baby, baby girl. I need her to sing because you know she has a beautiful voice. And my goal is for her to be an idol master Cinderella girl's like so freaking bad. And we are praying to the gods like this. It, it happens because if you have not seen um, Bunny Girl Senpai, I really, really, really recommend go watching that show and then listening to the ending theme. Whether you listen to just um, Asuka's uh, VA as my or you listen to all the girls together sing. It is such a beautiful song. It's one of my favorite songs that I love listening to. Oh, uh, God, just go. <laughs> and then also, you don't need, yeah, we need to hear Rika so from Attack on Titan sing too. Because I think she sings. Yeah. We'll find out later on. I don't know. <laughs> hmm? Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, that's strange. I mean, because if we want to talk about D4DJ and Ish, well, that was lunchtime groove. But still, they listen and chat and eat. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, you don't even come on, baby. You gotta get out of your shell. Mm. Be interesting if these girls had a YouTube channel. Mm. Hey, but it makes the most sense. You give very good advice. Shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you get nervous? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh god that's why mm -hmm. well because you ate all of it silly Even though, isn't this a little last minute though? Well, okay.
I know. Just, like, talk softly. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's okay. It's okay. It, it's working. Just go with it. <laughs> oh, what the fuck was that? So that's why you fell, you poor baby. Oh, Jesus Christ. Once again, Melora's best girl. Everyone's best girl. You can't always say do your best.
And it makes me wonder why in the world, you know, didn't Sword Art Online give the freaking girls character songs? Like, oh, I understand maybe not everybody can sing, but oh, like y'all could have did that, but no. <laughs> well, a girl can dream, right? <laughs> Now see the question is, is Laura going to make it there in time or is it just really going to be handled by our four girls right now? I mean, you know, you still need Laura to do certain things, so...
Slowly but surely. She's just taking her time. Here she is. That's smart. Easy. You know, it was weird also as well not to have Kudarin today, but you know, that's okay. Kudarin will have a focus next week. Hopefully, we pray. Honestly, let me say something else about this. One thing that I really now love about this group, we, we've we had moments where Manatsu and Laura, strictly in the beginning when it was just Manatsu um, and Laura, where they fought, but when you officially have the whole group together now, we haven't had an episode where everyone has fought and argued over something. And honestly, I'm okay with that. I still kind of want it because, you know, A, um, when you have friends, you know, there's going to be moments where, yeah, you're going to clash with each other over something and such. But I, I really enjoyed the fact is 13 episodes and we haven't seen, like, a big full argument with all five girls together but if it does happen i think it's going to be very sweet interesting unlike <clears throat> one series where my least favorite cure is in there and her and another favorite cure of mine always fought almost every freaking time and every time when they fought i wanted one of them to just shut up because she was super annoying she was just so relatable in the beginning but by the time we got to the end of freaking series i was just like i can't see any of you anymore I, I was like i'm done <laughs> i am so done and even though will they be in the movie that's a oh that's a good question like mm, they probably will uh, it's good at it. <laughs> ah oh <laughs> But hearing Laura sing really makes me excited for the character songs for the album and such. Whenever that's going to come out, I'm guessing like at least maybe later on, probably either before my birthday a month and such. Who knows, really? But like, seriously, you gave me so many Mermaid Melody vibes that your girl might even end up rewatching Mermaid Melody for like the umpteenth time because, you know, you're, you know. Your girl really wants, and Mermaid Melody at the time, I think when it was airing, it was popular, but not as popular as like Tokyo Mew Mew, Car Captain Sakura, Sailor Moon, or even Saint Tail. Um, but it was still popular around its time. 
Tokyo Mew Mew by next year is going to get a revival with new animation and everything and I'm guessing they're going to stay very heavily true to the actual manga kind of like how what Sailor Moon Crystal does and how everybody has like a mixed feeling on you know Sailor Moon Crystal even though I haven't seen Eternal yet like officially because you know that comes out next month on Netflix and such but if Tokyo Mew does the you know 100 percent of here's the manga we're gonna make the manga as the truest story that it is comparing at 100 percent to it then i would really like to see um bunny mew bunny and then mew ringo possibly be in that ish because it would be nice i mean i understand that because like if y'all didn't know like <laughs> what they're doing with the tokyo mimi situation is they actually have an official idol group and they are so adorable I'm like oh my god so yeah I, I think it would be nice like if they add those two girls into the series they could just be like one-offs for like here's a song and here they are and this is that and the third but like yeah i really loved laura singing like oh my god but still sort of online why didn't you have silica sing in the dang show like oh my god like she's just her voice is so freaking pretty like oh god like i cannot wait to like hear these character songs and hear all five of these girls like sing a song even if it's maybe like um 50 out of 50 mirani and senpai cannot sing i, I think they could possibly still do something because like okay one of my personal favorite series akudama drive they had a character song kadaka is known for kind of like um giving character songs to his characters or like something for the fans and so the guy who played um cutthroat in the series he doesn't sing i, I mean this is this dude is cloud freaking strife and suzaku Kiriyi. Um, and he doesn't sing, so they got my husbando. <laughs> the guy who currently plays Kurino in Fruits Basket, and then Seiya from Kashitiro to sing, and then you have voices of, um, Cutthroat in the background, and, it, and it's still a good song, and I can't, I'm like, oh, but they literally could do anything for Mirodin's character song, so hopefully... We get that. And then a big thing is, I really, really, really want Kudanun to get a character song as well. Because, of course, Kudanun is, like, literally the best character. So, yes, finally, after three to four weeks, my Kudanun officially came fra Yeah, Friday? Friday? Yeah, 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 Friday. Because she was in the background <laughs> in some of my videos and such and my cousin got to see her yesterday and wondering like what the heck this thing was and I had to explain what it was but she oh my god finally after so many freaking weeks of waiting for this thing to come she finally came home and I am so happy this was so worth $39 and I was expecting her I didn't expect her to be this big, but like, oh, she's so freaking adorable and cuddly, and I'm just like, ah, I'm like, you should have saw me when I was on my way <laughs> to the mailbox to get her because I was my dog, and I was like, literally, I was like, come on, Cody, we're going outside and we're gonna go get this dang thing because I have been waiting for weeks and such, but like, I am so freaking happy she's here, but I mean, oh god i am so happy just like if i had to get one thing it was kudanun because she's so freaking precious but the biggest thing is like besides kudanun um your girl still wants this <laughs> the sweets pack <laughs> the tropical pack <laughs> so bad but i can't really find it anywhere i might have to wait until like amazon gets it plus i do want like a Laura figurine because I, I okay hold on let me put kudanun down if you have not noticed on my twitter um, <laughs> I have changed my profile to Laura because even though, yes, I love all five of my girls so much, it's like Laura is my best girl. <laughs> so I've used like a lot of gifts of Laura for these past few days and ish because like, of course, like out of all five, like the one who I can see myself the most is freaking Laura. Her attitude and how she, you know, goes about and ish. I'm like, yes, that is me in a nutshell. <laughs> The fact is that I would ne I never would have thought that like throughout many of the years of my Pretty Cure series, whether it's me watching it by myself or me doing reactions on it, I think, you know, having like, she's kind of still, her and Kudanun are like the mascots of this show, of course, um, 
I never would have thought that the mascot is the one that I can see myself in. Even when I was watching Kitty Kitty Pretty Carol mode, the one that I saw myself in a lot was Yukari and stuff. Because that was a confident bad bitch. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> and she knew what she wanted. And now we got a confident badass mermaid who knows what the F she wants. And she's not. She's going to do everything in her power to get it and such. But yes, yeah, like, oh my god, this was such a good episode for everybody. Even best girl Laura. Like, oh my god. But yes, at the end of the day, your girl still wants merch from this series. So once again, I'm going to have to look again. Because the last thing that I saw... Not on Mercart, I think it was on like Hobby Link Japan, where like the dolls, but I don't really want that. I want the effing pact, like so bad, or at least whenever the final cure does officially make her appearance, um, her stuff, because I think I'm gonna like it a lot, or even like the aqua pot. Your girl wants the freaking aqua pot because that thing looks so freaking gorgeous and stuff, like, oh my god, like. <laughs> I just want it so bad. Oh my god. I mean, because, like, even if I couldn't get anything from Healing Good Pretty Here, even though I still want, you know, my precious dog. It's so freaking bad. <laughs> oh, because they had, like, this cute little. They had a plush of, um, the dog of Healing Good, and then they had a backpack version. Of her and I was like no I just want the plush and people like okay as I said could have known was $39 the the biggest the most expensive price that I saw for could have known on this app was like 50 bucks and I was like there is no way in heck I'm paying 50 bucks but $39 was a good price for me but there was this one person who I literally told my dad this yesterday no Friday because Friday was his birthday um that when I was looking the other person who I was looking at, like, other could have because this one I didn't think was going to get here very quickly. And I was like, um, I have to go ahead and buy another one um, next month. Somebody was selling it for, like, 20... Somebody's still currently selling it for, like, 20... 23 or $26. And your girl would have, like, snatched that up the moment she got paid. But, I, like I said, once again, it was so freaking worth it. And I'm so glad she's home. And I'm like, ah! so freaking adorable but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 13 of tropical rouge pretty care if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday sunday for episode 14 bye guys